Second Samuel chapter eleven, verse two. If everyone have it, say amen. amen. All right, that's the majority. All right, so one evening, starting on chapter 2, uh, verse 2, I'm sorry, chapter 11 of 2 Samuel. One evening, David got up from his bed and walked around on the roof of the palace. From the roof, he saw a woman bathing. The woman was very beautiful, and David sent someone to find out about her. The man said, isn't this Bathsheba, the daughter of Iliam and the wife of Uriah the Hittite? Then David sent messengers to get her. She came to him, and he slept with her. She had purified herself from her uncleanness. Then she went back home. The woman conceived and sent word to David, saying, I am pregnant. Jeez, doesn't that story sound so familiar? We see it all the time. And the statistics say that in the year 2000, the total number of teen pregnancies in the United States was... 821,810. That's 84 pregnancies for every 1,000 teens. And that's not even counting the people um, that didn't get pregnant, and it doesn't include adults. Just imagine that sexuality is something so tempting for people of all ages, of teens, of adults. And there was something, there was nothing sinful about David not being able to sleep. There was nothing sinful about him walking on the roof of his palace. There was nothing sinful about that. There was nothing sinful about him accidentally seeing that woman bathing. It was an accident. But it was sinful for him to continue to look, to allow that look to turn into lust, to find out more about her, to send for her. David's eyes led him into great sin. This tragedy caused him so much suffering. Yeah. So much suffering in his life. You know, how many of us guys continue to look at a nude scene in a video, in a movie, in a movie theaters? How many of us actually look away? Not only guys, but girls as well. How many of us don't do anything to stop it? How many of us guys or girls turn away from looking at someone and then have thoughts in our heads and then turn away? How many of us can do that? You know, I'm sure that if you ask David later in his life that if there was one thing he could go back and change in his life, it would be that one look. Because that one look Cursed his entire life. Messed up his entire life. If he would have just looked away. If he would have just looked away. He would have avoided so many problems. And I don't know why. But many people. They, you know, they start picking on David all the time. But Bathsheba. I don't know what kind of girl. Bathes with the window open. But she's not doing a very good job either. Okay, so let's not only pick on the guys, let's pick on the girls too. All right, the way you dress, the pictures you take that you put on MySpace and Facebook and all those things that are causing men to lust after you. Women, you don't know how easy it is for a man to lust after a woman. Maybe Bathsheba, she was bathing, like, ah, David is married, he's not gonna want me, why would he want me? Just keep the window open. Got a nice breeze. Yeah, and David's looking at us like, oh, that girl's kind of cute. <laughs> she bathing? Oh, snap, yo. Yo, who's this girl? Who's this girl? Go get it. That's she, but I said it. Dude, you have a wife. I don't care. I'm a king of everything. Bring her over. You know, and they just keep going and going until you fall. The same thing with guys. The same thing with girls. What are you doing? How are your pictures on your, you know, social network site. How is it? You know, get a guy, a Christian guy, and ask him, do you think this is appropriate? And see what he says. If he's a man of God, he will warn you to take it down.